sorry if I scared you, let's start from the beginning. So we had the idea to try three different types of budgets and see how much we are going to spend on those days. So the first place we went to was the cheapest one. We wanted to really try to just live out the cheapest budget. So basically live like one of the locals, just go to local places, uh, take the bus instead of the tuk-tuk and just have a cheap accommodation. We don't need much, right? And then the second time was the intermediate one. So then we just had a little bit more luxury like for example we want to be by the beach but we still want a private room and then the third one was the one that we have never done before was yeah a little bit more expensive some people go on holidays and they they really want to enjoy right so they want a hot shower a comfortable room maybe a terrace in front of the house and that's that kind of comfort level. That's the three types of accommodation and three types of budgets we wanted to explore just to see how much it would cost in a day. A disclaimer though, we know that Sri Lanka right now is in a financial crisis. We just know that it's really hard for the local people here and we're definitely not trying to promote to be as cheap as possible, but some backpackers like us who are traveling very long time we do need to take care of our money because we want to stay uh, in Sri Lanka for longer, right? So we need to spread our money in a responsible way that we can stay longer. We hope you enjoy the video and let's get back into it. So my name is Juju. And I'm Marco. Today we're going to try to keep our budget to a minimum. So this is our breakfast. It's passion fruit, soursop and bananas. This is all from down the street from a local woman here. And uh, yeah, this is basically as cheap as a breakfast can get. Today the plan is to go towards Gal area, but we are probably not gonna go into the Gal city because it's gonna be expensive. We're gonna take you along and see how cheap this day can get. Let's go! just arrived and we even got a passion fruit juice from this passion fruit plant right here. It's actually extremely tasty. This place looks really amazing. The plants, the greenery here is just amazing. There's like sitting corners everywhere where you can just chill and hang around. This is really nice for uh, cheap accommodation. Let's uh, show the room maybe. So we booked a double room. There is an extra bed actually here that we didn't even know we were going to have. And yeah, it's very simple. I mean, it's nothing special, but it looks clean. Uh, there's towels, soap, everything that we basically need. There is electricity, <laughs> there is Wi-Fi, and the location is really nice just next to the beach. We have been waiting for our food now for two hours, so we're super excited. This meal costs 700 rupees. And it's actually just for one person, but we knew it was going to be too much. So basically we have beans, then we have a pineapple chutney, then we have our um, papadam. papadam, this is the chicken. Uh, we have our dal, classic dal curry, and then potatoes, carrot, and onion, and then some white rice with some water. I'm super excited. This is looking really good and I'm really hungry. <laughs> so let's dig in. We 
we are now on our second location, second budget room. So this is a little hut just next to the beach. More basic than our previous room. We just have a mattress on the floor. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> we can barely fit our stuff in here, but it's by the beach, which means it is more expensive. <laughs> Dinner tonight. We'll start with the vegetable course, uh, caramelized onions and uh, coconut milk. We uh, just uh, cook for a long time. And you have a course over here, the grilled prawns. A little bit of a review from this place. So this is the second budget place that we are visiting. Uh, it's right by the beach, which is why it's a little bit more expensive for a very very simple room. Yeah, I have dirty sheets right now and I'm just thinking why am I spending more money <laughs> here and when the other cheap, beautiful place was just so much more worth it. Um, but yeah, this is really like a test, right? Like by the beach is more expensive, so you do have that vibe, you do have more people around here, so you do pay more for less quality. I'm excited tomorrow to go to a more luxurious place. Good night. And don't let the bed bugs up. We are um, on our way to the third budget room. This is the most expensive room we have ever taken. It is gonna be nice. It's gonna be a little bit further away and I'm extremely excited. And yeah, let's find out where it is. We're gonna have to take one bus for two hours and I think a tuk-tuk or maybe some hitchhiking. Yeah, really excited. And I'm excited for a nice sleep as well because this place, I didn't sleep very well. I don't think I slept at all. So yeah, see you. <laughs> staying in that beautiful room in natural mystic sanctuary we asked if she had a budget room and she managed to give us a really really beautiful cute little mud house i started getting sick a little bit as well so we just stayed there and just relaxed painted red and it was just such an amazing experience so beautiful you're in the middle of nature you can see so many types of birds uh, there is just so many animals around there and it's amazing. The mud house is definitely a place to remember. <laughs> Oh, you can't, you can't do it like 
like that. You can't do it like that. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can't take it off like that, Juju. Oh, I have to take okay. it off. Oh. Hey, this just took another one off. Oh, it keeps moving. Leeches. I wasn't prepared for leeches. I've been uh, afraid my entire life of them and I knew they were here. I knew that they are in Asia. I've been to rainforests before, but I've always been lucky enough to avoid them. But unfortunately, not that day. That's why I have a very, very strong and uh, panic kind of reaction. Even Marco got scared. I didn't film him though because I was too much of a panic mode, but it was funny to look back on now because the next day I had a um, leech on me and I just flicked it off or just asked Marco can you please take it off like a calm normal person thank you so much for tuning in I hope you enjoyed the video and I definitely hope you come to Sri Lanka this is the end of our trip so we will maybe make one or two more videos about Sri Lanka but we are gonna go to Maldives next hit that like subscribe comment we hope to see you on our next adventure.